Example three, we are given a number and we are told that it's equal to a product of primes. You've got two, five and seven. Two and five have unknown powers a and b and we have to find a and b. Now, the way to get a and b is actually to divide 3,500 by prime numbers and then write it as a product of two, five and seven and then you'll be able to deduce what a and b are. So let's do that. So part A, let's divide 3,500 by prime numbers, by prime factors. And we're expecting them to be 2, 5 and 7 and nothing else. So let's start with 2. So divide by 2. 2 goes into 3 once and 1 over to make 15. 2 goes into 15 7 times and 1 over to make 10. 2 goes into 10 5 times and 2 goes into 0 0 times. So we've still got an even number so we can keep dividing by 2. So divide by 2 again. 2 doesn't go into 1. 1 carries over to make 17. 2 goes into 17 8 times with a remainder of 1. Carry that over to make 15. 2 goes into 15 7 times with a remainder of 1. Carry that over to make 10. And 2 goes into 10 5 times. So we've got 875. Now that's not an even number. So the next prime after 2 is 3. But 3 won't go into 875 because if you add all the digits, you've got 5 plus 7 is going to give you 12. 12 plus 8 is going to give you 20. 20 is not a multiple of 3. So 3 is not going to go into it. And we expect 3 not to go into it anyway because when it's written as a product of primes, there's no 3 in it. It's just 2, 5 and 7. So the next prime after 2 is 5. And 5 definitely goes into it because the last digit is a 5. So we're going to divide by 5 now. So 5 into 8 goes once and 3 over to make 37. 5 into 37 goes 7 times. 7 fives are 35 with a remainder of 2. Carry it over to make 25. 5 goes into 25 5 times. So again we can divide by 5. We'll go again, divide by 5. 5 doesn't go into 1. 1 carries over to make 17. 5 goes into 17 3 times. 5 3's are 15 with a remainder of 2. And then 5 goes into 25 5 times. So again, we can divide by 5 once more. So divide by 5 again. We're going to get 7. 35 divided by 5 gives us 7. And then we move up to the next prime, which is 7. Divide by 7. And that is going to leave us with 1. So we can now write 3,500 as a product of primes. So 3,500 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. And then there's 3 fives being multiplied. And then we're multiplying by a 7. Now, the form that was given in the question is 2 to the power of a times 5 to the power of b times 7. So we need to get our answer in index form, get powers in it. So there's two twos being multiplied, so that means the power of 2 is just 2. There are three fives being multiplied, so that means the power of 5 is 3. And then we're just multiplying by a 7. So now we can compare the form that we have with the form in the question. So clearly you can see that the power of 2 is 2. So that means a is equal to 2. And the power of 5 is 3. So that means b is equal to 3. So our final answer then is a must equal 2 and b must equal 3. Now, it says in part B, write down the lowest value which 3,500 needs to be multiplied by to give a cube number. Okay, so at the minute we have written 3,500 as a product of its prime. So I'm going to copy that out again. So we've got in part B, 3,500 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 7. Now, 
In order to turn 3,500 into a cube number, we're going to have to multiply both sides of this equation by a particular number. Now, how do we turn this into a cube number? Well, remember, a cube number is a number which can be written as another number with a power of 3 or as products of numbers with powers of 3. Do you notice that only the 5 has a power of 3? If we wanted to make the 7 have a power of 3, we'd need to multiply by two more 7s. And to make this little power of 2 here into a power of 3, we'd need to multiply by another 2. So we actually need to multiply the right-hand side by one more 2 and two more 7s. And we have to do exactly the same thing to the other side. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to multiply each side by 1, 2 and 2, 7s. And we're going to do the same to the other side. So we've got 2 to the power of 2. We're going to multiply that by another 2. And then times 5 to the power of 3. And then multiply by 7. Then we're going to multiply by 2 more 7s. OK, so let's go to the left hand side. We've got 3,500, and then we're going to be multiplying that by 7 7s are 49, times 2 is going to give us 98. And then if we tidy up the other side, so we've got 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 is just 2 to the power of 3. Then we're multiplying by 5 to the power of 3. And then we're multiplying three sevens together, so that is the same as multiplying by seven to the power of three. Okay, the number of bases being multiplied tells you what the power is. Now, what we have on the right hand side is a product of cube numbers, or numbers with powers of three. So overall, any cube number can be written as products of numbers with powers of three or as a single number with a power of 3. So whatever we're left with on the left hand side here is going to be a cube number. Now we're not actually asked to find what the cube number is, we're just asked to find what the smallest value we have to multiply 3500 by to get a cube number, and that is 98. So our final answer is just 98.